And also on the resume, you know, uh, I have a lot of like weird outlier things on there that I don't know how they're going to look, how they will look to a law school. Like it could be, they could look at it as a very interesting thing and like, you know, very cool show like some diversity and a unique candidate, or it could be like, like I'm not very focused on law. Like I don't care about it. Um, it's not my main focus. Like for, I took a, a good amount of time off school and I went on tour with the bands like around the country Cool. and it was like a big tour and it was with the label and all this stuff. And, uh, I thought it was a really cool accomplishment. Like I was very proud of myself for being able to do that. Um, but I don't know how like schools will look at that. Yeah, man, that's awesome. I would yeah. write an essay about that. Really? Oh, for sure. That's a unique experience. And that shows that you have an interest and you're a filled out person. You know, I think if someone has done nothing but law their whole life, it might be a strong case for law school, but it doesn't make for the most compelling conversations necessarily. You want somebody who has a variety of interests that's more interesting yeah. and they want interesting people at their schools. And then okay. let's say you wanted to go into entertainment law. You have yeah. the experience there that would make you a much stronger candidate for any job in that area. And you would do, do better in that field than somebody who's never done anything music related. Yeah. So I would okay. definitely talk about it. And I can't imagine they're going to penalize you for that. And if anything, if the person reading your file loves music or they love that genre, then that's even better. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that concerned me because it felt like, I don't know, I had a lot of conflicting advice on it. Like a lot of people told me I shouldn't do it. And, uh, you know, I should just stay in school and focus on the law thing. Uh, so I'm, I, I hope it, you know, I was hoping it wouldn't penalize me. It would turn out to be a benefit that someone would appreciate me doing something a bit out there and strange and getting me, even if it is getting away from the focus of law, um, that it would somehow come back and be a benefit. Oh, definitely a benefit. I would write an essay about it. If you want to draft something up and send it over, I'll be happy to include it in the next law school application workshop we run. Cool. Yeah, that would be great. Um, do you think it would like personal statement or diversity thing or what, what do you think it would fit best in? Depends what else you want to talk about. Yeah. I don't know. That is kind of like the big thing that I was very, you know, my biggest accomplishment, I guess, or just something I'm very proud of. Um, but it doesn't really relate to law. That's my thing. I'm just like, I don't know how to write about this and tailor it to a tailor it to a law school application when it's really got nothing to do with law. I mean, I guess I could kind of make up some stuff about entertainment law and all that. Well, did you ever, you said you went on tour, right? Did you, yeah. with a label? So were there any contracts involved in that? I would imagine there were. Yeah, there were, but I mean, I was just, I was just a musician, so I didn't really see much of that. Like the managers kind of handled all that, but I mean, there were, that was involved and there was some, you know, disputes and stuff like that. So I guess I could bring that up. Oh, well then you definitely need to get more into those disputes. It might've been a while since then, but I would, I would dig up any documentation you have around that just to refresh yourself on it. Like what the nature of the disputes were, what the issues were, what might've, what could have been handled differently what you might've okay. wished was handled differently, what the issues were specifically, like if it were between you and the other band members or you and the managers or you and the record label people, conflicts arise naturally. There's, you know, there's plenty of documentaries about this stuff, right? Different bands yeah, over yeah. history. So I, I, would, I would go into that more. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.